She thinks she's too cool for us to pass. You're a loser. Nobody cares about you. She's so weird. She misses a little bit of school and now she's getting all this special treatment. Please. Pathetic. Why does she even bother with it? She's just a waste of space. You really do suck. received. You have made a wish and it's been heard loud and clear. Uh, does this phantom seem especially large to you? It is exam season. Everyone's on edge. But with you, I can take this thing easily. Ready to go, Tomine? I'm ready when you are. <laughs> All right then, let's do it! Hey there, fish face, how you doing? This is the land of the rising sun. Your desecration shall not be allowed. I now lay thee waste with the hunky and expel thy vast defilement. Rent! practice is to give at least a full month's notice before you quit. It's common courtesy. As if you deserve any courtesy. Later, loser. <laughs> you're just an aimless oh, character yeah, in a track suit. Like Let's it? play your music on. There's a dare come crawling back once <laughs> I hit it big. <laughs> just you wait and see. Soon enough, I'll have 120 million worshippers and all the other gods will envy me. You ungrateful wretch. <laughs> Finding a new regalia comes first. God or not, without a regalia, I'm unarmed. No, worse than that, I'm essentially naked. I can't go out on any jobs like this. Of course, it's not like I've got a ton of work anyway. Hello there, and thank you for calling. Fast and affordable, delivery god Yato at your service. Huh? My lord has gone missing? That's awful. Lord, huh? That's quite a name. Some people are really weird about their pets. I guess my lord is better than my god, right? <laughs> Cute cat, though. Ami here's no better than these people. She named her dog after Zinni's leader. What's so bad about that? She is totally the love of my life! <laughs> yeah, whatever. I'm all about the hundred arch fiends. I don't understand how you can like that stuff. Yeah, lord, where are you? Here, hey, kitty! Zinni's is my god. The hundred arch fiends are obviously the god -like. Well, which do you, you think, think is more godlike, like Hiyori? Wanna see the man I worship? We've entered the final round of the showdown of the century, folks. The fighters are certainly in. Look at that! He goes for the line! How will Toto respond? <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry, obviously you were the wrong person to ask about this. I didn't know you liked martial arts. Are you a closet fan? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I'm a closet fan exactly. You haven't told your parents, right? Uh, no, I'm fairly certain my mom's head would explode if she found out I'm into this stuff. Oh, oh my, what a crude hobby! Who You'll bring dishonor you? on the Iki family yeah. name with such unladylike oh, pursuits. Honestly, what dear, don't you stuff? want to be a suitable husband? Yeah, okay, stop it, that's plain freaky! You two sound just like her! <laughs> Anyway, Hyori, are there any guys you do like? Besides Tono, of course. Yeah, like someone closer to our age who isn't a famous fighter? Uh-huh. Well, um, someone I like. Let's see. No, I don't think there is anybody. It's a miracle you only wound up with a few scratches. A bus hit me? Whatever the tests say, I'm still worried. If anything should happen to our precious Hiori, we should keep her here for observation. It is our hospital. Come now, dear. There's a list of patients waiting to be admitted. Even so. What about the other guy? What happened to him? Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, another person. I think I saw someone. What? Nobody else was there, though. Hiori was just suddenly lying in the street. Are you sure? You've been through a trauma. Maybe your memory's still a bit hazy. I'm sure there was somebody there. <sighs> oh, my poor dear. You must be exhausted. Why don't you get some rest? He was there. He was, I'm sure of it. And there's more. I remember another me. Like I was outside my body. to save me before. I don't get it. Who are you? That's easy. I'm a god. 
Hello, police. There's an intruder in my hospital room. I think he might be crazy. He's Wait, hang up the phone. I'm not crazy. I really am one of the gods, okay? I am the god Yato. A god called Yato? What are you playing at? I've never heard of that god. Not once in my whole life. <laughs> Well, that's understandable. I'm still what you might call an up-and-comer. But just wait. Before much longer, the whole world will know my name! I'll be mega famous, the go-to god, the god that everybody prays to! Awesome, aren't I? I'll be the highest god in the land, me! <laughs> it's gonna be real stormy tonight. This place is already crawling with them. And I'm regalia-less, so I can't stick around. If somebody else is already using Nora tonight... Hey, that's one of my get-well gifts! By the way, what's your name? Uh, it's Hiyori. Hiyori Iki. Hmm. Hiyori Iki, huh? I came to make sure you're okay, and you seem to be just fine. So, we're even now. Huh? <clears throat> See ya! <laughs> Wait! My body feels so heavy. Can't stay awake. Yato. Hiyori! Ami, Yama! Hey, you guys! So, you're all healed up then? Yeah, you scared us. Glad you didn't die or anything. I'll try never to do it again, I swear. Yeah, stay away from buses from now on, <laughs> or you'll see my version of a jungle safat. I bet you wouldn't mind a good smack from her dear Tono! You're probably right. <gasps> Whoa, hey, easy there! Whoops, I'm sorry. I've just started getting these sudden attacks of drowsiness. Huh? Don't stay up so late playing video games. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was just a dream. It felt so real. That night in the hospital, I could have sworn I met somebody. Tracksuits. You sure you're okay, Hyori? Yeah, what's going on? You've been kind of out of it all day. Sorry. Like I said before, I'm just sleepy. Maybe you should still be in the hospital. It hasn't been long since the accident. What is it? Why'd you stop? Hmm? Oh, that cat again? That's right. That day, there was some strange guy in a tracksuit chasing a cat. I'm sorry, you guys. Go on without me. Uh-huh. I shall stay. I must endeavor to locate my lord forthwith. What? Come here, my lord. Who's a good kitty? That's not him. Not there either. My lord, where are you hiding? If I can just find the cat, maybe it'll trigger a very memory. Lord, here, boy. Come on out, kitty. Again. <laughs> what is that strange smell? My lord! Come on out now, kitty! Come on! I've got some nice catnip for you! Better find him fast. It's getting stormy out. Just stay there. There's no need to run. What's the matter, boy? Too many of them. Numbers are. 
on my side here? You provoked them, didn't you? Just like a cat. Lord, you know what they say about curiosity of cats, don't you? Finally lost it. This girl saved me again. I can't freaking believe it. I'm glad I was able to track you down, Yato. I had a lot of questions to ask, you know. But you just suddenly ran off on me. No dodging my questions this time. I want some straight answers. Uh, sorry. But your soul? It slipped out. What? <laughs> if you want your body, it's back over there. That's not it exactly. It's more like your body's just taking a nap. <laughs> Look what you've done. I thought black cats were supposed to be unlucky. I'll hand out flyers and look around some more tomorrow, okay? Don't worry, sweetie. I'm sure I'll turn up. Hello? Huh? Huh? You came home! Mom, it's my lord! He came back! Can you believe it? My wish really came true! Thanks, Yato, you're the best ever! of the accident. There's the near shore, where the living reside. Then there's the far shore. Somehow or other, you've wound up in the divide between them. The near shore and the far shore? Yeah. As for the far shore, what would you humans call it? The afterlife, I guess. <laughs> See, you're still technically alive, but you're also a phantom. What's a phantom? Basically, they're incarnations of emotional energy. They possess people cause a lot of trouble. So that giant frog earlier, that was one of these phantoms? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you mean I'm like that thing? Oh well, no, not exactly like it. Actually, I describe you more as on the fence. And that means what? All this is way over my head. Well, for one thing, you probably lose your body a lot. Okay, and how do I make that stop? Well, I'm not sure you can. This is just the way you are now. Best accept it. Accept it? I can't live like this! It's not fair! Turn me back! You keep on saying you're a god, right? So help me! All 
right. Pay up. Gods charge money now? Of course we do. Nobody's gonna grant a wish for nothing. This is the going rate for one wish. What? Five hundred fifty thousand? I can't afford that much. Stupid mortal. I am a god, you know. And what do you offer when you petition the gods? That's right, a five dead coin! What? Five? Uh, okay. You have made a wish. And it's been heard loud and clear. Hiyotaiki, thus is it done. May our fates intertwine. Hiyori? Hiyori? Are you with us, Hiyori? Yes! Whoops, was I asleep again? Yes, you were. If you're not feeling well, you should go to the nurse's office. I'll be fine, I swear. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm so sleepy all the time. I hate it. I've been feeling like this ever since the incident with the bus. It's more than just drowsy spells. The forecast says it's gonna snow today. Cold snow! Oh man, that's no fun. Snow! Cold snow! Well, come on, let's go. You're gonna be late. Oh, right. Nobody else can see what I see. It's a being that dwells beyond normal people's sight. A phantom. Lights go! What's so special about me that I can see them now? Hello? Wake up, Sleeping Beauty! <laughs> wow, again? This is crazy! Totally! I bet this Insta Snooze trick of hers comes in handy sometimes, though. So she's a closet martial arts nerd and a narcoleptic. That's a combination you don't see every day, huh? No kidding! We should warn her her panty show when this happens. <clears throat> yeah, that way she can wear something appropriate. Something nondescript would work best. Nah, something that's super cute. This is all so strange. Even so. <laughs> it does have its moments! Whee! I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a pretty fly bird. Look at me, I'm a bird! <laughs> found everywhere. Lurking in the shadows of an alley, soaring through the sky, sitting on people's shoulders. <laughs> They're not the same. They come in different shapes and sizes, but they are all denizens of the far shore, devoid of life. The only ones who can see them are young children, animals, and of course, those of us who roam the divide between the near and far shores. A black haze in the distance. So that's a storm. An area thick with despair that attracts all kinds of phantoms. Gives me the creeps. Iato told me a little about phantoms. They possess people, and then those people lose all hope and spiral out of control. <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with, and Yato still hasn't contacted me! Ah, hello there. Nice to talk to you again. What can I do for you? Don't give me that! You said you'd help with the phantoms and the tail and everything! Ah, yeah, I know, I know. I'll get to it, eventually. Could you be more specific? Exactly how long is eventually? It's been two weeks! 
Look, some unexpected stuff came up recently, stuff I have to deal with before I can even think about doing anything else. So I can't get to you quite yet. Be straight with me. Are you really a god or not? You doubt me? <laughs> Don't. I'm the real deal. Do you know any humans who can do that trick? You should be in awe of my magnificence. You're wearing a tracksuit and a weird bib around your neck. That isn't really an awe-inspiring outfit. Hmm. You shouldn't judge people by the clothing they wear. Didn't your parents ever teach you that lesson? And it's not a bib, it's a fluffy fluff scarf. Fluffy fluff scarf? Did you see that girl over there? She's talking to herself. Don't stare. She probably isn't right in the head. Explain something to me. What's the difference between you and phantoms? Huh? I mean, you have things in common. You're invisible to most people, and the same thing goes for phantoms, doesn't it? Unlike them, I'm actually from the far shore. I wasn't born from a human being. I'm a god of war, born from a wish. Yeah? Yeah, between the two of us, I'd say you're more like a phantom. Huh? Not again! I didn't even notice it happening! Yeah. Hey, here it goes! <laughs> In all seriousness, this bare form of yours isn't safe at all. You should be careful. A living phantom makes a very tempting target. They will come for you. They'll come, eager to corrupt your soul and consume it. And once you're possessed by a phantom, you lose who you are. You'll cross lines that shouldn't be crossed. And you won't even hesitate. Because what you'll find beyond may be a living hell. But it's a pleasurable one. Well, when you put it that way, would you fix me already? I remember our contract, don't worry. You paid your five yen piece. And it's not refundable! Yeah, it's my money now. I'm saving the first ride in this nice and bag! Wait, the station? With a wife? And a separate bathroom? Yes! The shrine just for me! Yato, am I massaging your right leg to your liking? What about your left leg, Lord Yato? Ah, most agreeable. Ah, I am Yato, an almighty god of war. Now then, go forth and pick out the peanuts from a bag of mixed nuts for me. Yes, as you wish, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. So anyway, when will you get to my job? Huh? Soon enough. I told you to sit tight, didn't I? You've been telling me that since last week. I'm sick of waiting. Oh, last week, huh? Well, here's a proposition then. Call me Lord Yato. It'll show some respect. Do that for an entire week and I'll consider starting your job. I mean, seriously, who calls a god by his first name anyway? I could call you something else. <laughs> Fine. The truth is, I'm not at 100% right now. I can't take on a big job. Not until I find a regalia. Okay, and what exactly is a regalia? Regalias are tools. They serve as weapons for gods. When I have a regalia, I can cut down anything. Oh! So that's why you're completely useless right now. Ah! So you used to have a regalia then. Did you lose it? What? Lose a regalia? No, she qu I fired her. Regalias are people? Well, they're spirits. Oh, really? Hello! Thank you for calling Delivery God Yato. I'm fast and affordable. Need help, you say? I'll be right there. Uh, wait! Uh, huh. I do not like that guy. I got everything I need. Why should I bother getting some dumb job? I don't need work. My parents support me. Do you see them, Yoda? Those are lazy bums. Scary, aren't they? That's it! He's one of those lazy bums that Mother was always warning me about. But what now? It's not like I have anybody else to turn to. What should I do? Your fists will guide you! Pave your own way! That's it! I'll listen to the great Tono! He's right! I can't rely on others for everything! I gotta take matters into my own hands. <laughs> I've got it! If he needs a regalia, I'll find him one. Excuse me. What would you 
you think about being a regalia for a guy named Yato? Excuse me. Hello there. on the wall like this, you can get all the mold off without having it drip everywhere. To be really thorough, I'd leave it for half a day before rinsing it off. <laughs> Man, you really are a pro, aren't you? A pro? I appreciate you coming over so quickly, too. Maybe I'll become a repeat customer. <gasps> Please, that would be great. Well, I'll leave you to it. Oh, uh, by the way, do you have an old toothbrush I could use? Say what? It's what you need for mold that's particularly thick, like it is here. <laughs> you did a great job, kid! I just called you in for a leaky faucet, but this place has never been cleaner. Thanks. I feel bad just paying five yen. I know. Here's a tip. Oh man, some god of war I am. How pathetic. I spent my day repairing a leaky pipe and cleaning up mold for chump change. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Now that's tasty! At least I got a drink out of it, huh? Well, I'm already here. I might as well crash at old Tenjin's place. Looks like business is booming for him. <laughs> How's it go again? You can check out any time you want, but you can never leave or something? <laughs> Looks like it's especially stormy out tonight, huh? So, that Hiyori girl's job request. What am I gonna do about it? <laughs> Who's calling now? Oh, great. Her again. This is really getting old. Yeah, hello. What can I do for you, Hiori? Hey, sorry to bother you this late, but, uh, I've got something. I... I think I found a regalia for you, actually. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, here he is. What do you think of him? Oh! 
Are you... I'm fine. Don't touch me. Or it'll blight you too. What do you mean? A blight is a kind of defilement. One that can spread. Unless you exercise it or cleanse it, it'll stay there and eat away at you. No. No. Also, we need to talk about your backside. What? That thing ain't a tail. It connects your physical and ethereal forms. Like a lifeline. Oh. No. If something happens to sever it... Then you'll die! Uh. No way you mean I'm not wireless? That's not cool! That's your worry? Listen, human! You're out of your league trying to fight that phantom! Don't do anything like that again! But you said yourself that you can't do anything without a regalia, right? Back off! I've been trying to find one, okay? Did I have to? <laughs> a young boy. Not so young. Looks to be in his teens, I'd say. A difficult enough age for anybody. Ayato? I think he'll do. Smells nice. Spirit, you are lost and adrift. You have nowhere to go and nowhere to return to. Thus I grant you a place to belong. My name is Yato. Bearing two names, you shall remain here. With these names, I make thee my servant. With these names, I use my life to make thee a regalia fit to be wielded by a god. Thou art Yugi, a regalia Seki. Oh, Seki! which I'm guessing is good. Sure is. Name's Yuki. Or less formally, Yuki name. Uh, huh? Whoa! Ah, it became a boy! Uh, 
Yukine. I'm Yato. I'm your master now. I summoned you here from the far shore to be my regalia. You will remain by my side. You need not return from whence you came. Take this. Go on. You've nothing to fear. I don't want a stinky tracksuit. <laughs> already. Hey, you hear me? This looks like a good spot to eat. Eat up. Is this a joke? You said you were hungry now, didn't you? Don't be a snob and eat your lunch. Uh, you call this lunch? Get this straight. You're my regalia. I'm your master, and what I say goes! Ah! Your regalia, huh? Yep. And I deserve nothing but respect from you. Worship me. You loyally serve your master's every demand. You could at least serve us some tea, you know? With what stove and what tea exactly? This bag talk is not gonna fly. I demand obedience. Ah! This is how a god lives. Drifting around town like some kind of bum. Sleeping out on the stone steps of some old shrine just to avoid attention. And digging through garbage every day just to find some food. That's your strategy? Gotta advertise! For jobs that never come. Uh. Are you positive that you're a real god? That's rude. You doubt me? <laughs> All right, then. I'll show you what I can do. Welcome! Good afternoon! Yordi's offered to buy us some grub. All because she appreciates my services. This feels like extortion to me. After you eat. I expect you to finally take my request seriously. Hey, good afternoon. Can I get you anything to drink? Yeah, how about two more glasses of water? Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. I thought you were invisible to other people, considering that you're not human and all. Not quite. We're not actually invisible, which is hard for people to notice, but they can see us. Hmm. Let me ask you this. How many waitresses are working in here? Uh-huh. Don't look, that's <laughs> cheating. Um, I guess... like two? Whoa, there's four of them? And it's the same with us. Yukine and I just kind of blend in with the background, just like those other waitresses. And if someone does notice us, we look like normal, boring people. They quickly forget they ever saw us. I apologize again about that. Think about it like this. You don't remember every stranger you've ever passed on the street, right? Being from the far shore, we're like the ultimate stranger. So it's stronger. Well, it's pretty noticeable how much food you eat. Mm, mm. Never let her often go to waste. An important rule. You're gonna make yourself sick, you know. Oh, I'll be fine. Dogs don't need a poop. Thank you. Come again. Jeez, he's really got some nerve. So, uh, thanks for the food and all. <laughs> No problem. I'm Hiyori Iki, by the way. You can just call me Hiyori. So, how do you know him, Hiyori? Um, well... 
I kind of sometimes lose my body now, so I'm hoping he can help me fix that. Hmm. Sucks to be you, huh? I guess so. <laughs> um, so what about you? How did you... Um... Hmm? You know, what did you do before you were Yato's regalia? Uh, well... I don't know. I mean, I do know that I died, but I can only recall suddenly being in his hand. And that's all I can remember. Nothing from when I was alive. And I don't know what to expect now, either. <sighs> hey, you're that sardine thief from earlier. Good boy. He likes you. <laughs> Do you like cats? It seems like it. Well, cats are really cute, huh? I like them, too. Listen up, kid. Just so you know, gods and regalia share mind and body. Huh? So as your master, you subject me to every one of your pervy thoughts. Keep our minds out of the gutter. Huh? I don't even know what you're talking about. Wait, what do you mean you share mind and body? Man, you kid, I know puberty is rough, but try to have a little control. Shut your mouth, you idiot! Hey, who do you think you're calling it? This is not exactly how I pictured a wish-granting god to act. Not at all. Idiot. Hello! Thanks for calling Delivery God Yato! I'm fast, affordable, and I get results! Yukine, we got a job! Let's go! Someone hired you? <laughs> Wait! What about my job? Fake job just to set me up? When the east wind blows, spread your fragrance, O oh plum blossoms. Uh, plum blossoms? Even without your master, do not forget the spoon. Wait, that's a Sugawara no Michizane poem! Don't tell me that! The god of learning! Lord Tenjin! Oh my, you've heard of me. I'm impressed you recognize the poem, little spirit. It's a bit of a golden only. It's in all the school books! Well, that's distressing. Don't you have copyright law? They expire 50 years after death. Is that so? So you're a real god. Such an impressive aura! No, you flatter me so. He's the complete opposite. <laughs> hey. I, uh, hmm? Tell me, Yato. What's this little one called? He's called Yuki. As a regalia is sick, and as a person, he's Yukine. So, Yukine, I take it you've only just become a regalia. As such, you need not prostrate yourself before me. Huh? Sue you. It's true. To put it simply, you already serve in the employ of one god, and to bow before another like so is to disrespect your master. Please remember this rule. Wow! You've also got like an entire swarm of shrine maidens! I'm Ayu! I'm Ayu! I'm me! I'm Ayu! And together we are... The, the maidens, maidens of Lord Tenji! To be precise, each one of them serves as a regalia to me. It can be a task providing for all of them. Real gods are on a whole different level. I'm a real god! So, what do you want? Oh, right. I have my hands full with requests it being exam season and all. So I was hoping you could dispatch some phantoms for me. I mean, it's not like you're busy. <laughs> and I am aware of the fact that you sleep in my shrines without permission. <gasps> I know you've hit hard times, so I'm more than happy to let you join my ten-man group. I can even make you a branch manager. <laughs> 
But of course, I assume you'd prefer to have your own shrine. I can respect that. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I seem to only have large bills. Can you make some change? <laughs> oh, how sad. Running a little low on funds, are we? There's even a class division amongst gods? That's gotta be why the world's so screwed up. You had changed the whole time! <laughs> now then, I'll provide you with some guidance. Makoto. My lord, Mayu is still new to these parts. I would suggest another guide. Hmm. You do have a point. This better not be but fake. Mayu happens to know the <laughs> I no longer go by Tomone. It's Mayu now. Tomone! You you joined this blowhard! My name is Mayu. You know each other? You could say that. There was a time when I was Yato's regalia. Oh wow, you were really? How was it? I mean working with him. Did he actually follow through on his jobs? And what about food and clothing? Was he always a homeless, jobless bum in a tracksuit? Well, he would never admit it, but he's actually every last one of those things you mentioned. Give your former master some credit here, Tomone! It's Mayu, damn it! Quit calling me by that name! It's disrespectful! You complain nonstop about me putting my hands on you and now you're some geezer smoking pipe? But he sure does change things! I would have gladly teamed up with anyone but you! Is she an ex-girlfriend? No! An ex-wife, then? You're on pretty bad terms. It's, it's nothing, nothing like, like that. that! Well, you sound it's like a bitter divorce like couple. Excuse me. Just admit it. You were delusional! This job you need Yato for, it's to kill phantoms, right? Are they really that bad? I mean, do you have to permanently get rid of them? Isn't there some other way you can deal with them? Hmm. Disorder on Earth brings disorder to the heavens. Uh-huh. Hiyori, dear, to be honest with you, I can't say that I approve of the existence of one such as you. You could too easily complicate matters without meaning to. <laughs> A few days back... Lord Tenjin received an unsettling wish plaque. I chose to investigate it and learn that two students had taken their own lives. Why would anybody do that? This area is plagued by storms. The phantoms they bring cling to people and then they take control of them. Overcome with unbearable heartache, Lord Michizane erected a barrier here. Although, people can still carry deeply rooted inner demons through it which hinders the act of purification. Such an unfortunate waste. A waste of precious life. So then all we have to do is defeat the phantoms that are possessing these people? Yes. Hiyori? People are dying because of these phantoms. I can't just sit back and let that happen. If someone wants to die, let him die. <gasps> Spoken like the true scumbag you are. You know, that's a pretty crappy attitude to take. If a soul's willing to commit suicide, that means it's been possessed. It can't even become a regalia. Dead or alive, it still doesn't matter. There's no saving it. How can you even say that? Isn't it your job to save people's souls? I'm out. Not so fast! You've been paid! Should we stop her? Or go after her, at least? Man, why's he gotta be such a jerk? Yukine? It's time for your first job. So what exactly do I have to do? Come to me when I call for the regalia, and revert when I call your name. That's it for now. Yato. 
If someone wants to die, let him die. That's disgusting! You're playing wrong! Don't wanna get a job. Don't wanna work. But don't wanna go to college. Lucy, I should just go ahead and die. But I guess you don't feel that way after all. Hate to tell you, but you're wrong. I just refuse to let anyone die in front of these guys. These guys who? I know things can get painful, but people should still appreciate what it means to be alive. <laughs> if a soul's willing to commit suicide, that means it's been possessed. It can't even become a regalia. The regalias? They're all so young and innocent. And if none of them took their own lives, then every one of them still wanted to keep on living. Yato couldn't stand for the regalias to see these suicides waste their lives. He wanted to protect them from that. Oh. Huh? 
That's not okay. It's dangerous. Ah, no, no, rub them. Easy. Listen, just stay calm. Take deep breaths, okay? Uh, e e how's that gonna help? E e Use it. It'll help warm you up a little. Uh, for your first job, I gotta say that you actually did pretty good out there today. Thanks to Mr. Talks and his sleep over here. Is that a normal thing for you? <gasps> the dream was something special. Please, like there'll ever be Yatoites. Yeah, you'll never get any followers dressing like that. No one wants to worship a sloth. Uh, especially girls. No girl would ever think that's cool. Excuse me? I mean, I wouldn't even give you so much as a handshake. You know, right? His hands are always sweaty. It's really gross. I think it's time for me to show you what a god is capable of. Uh. It is fated to happen. My dream will become real. And do you know why? Because uh. I bought this baby! That's what I'm gonna, gonna do. do! It's not just any bot. I got it from a lady in town who read my palm and declared she would sell it to me and no one else. All I have to do is chant happy, happy, cool, cool, happy, happy, cool, cool every day while I rub it back and forth, see? Can you, you believe her? her? And this will make me rich if I place it on a west-facing wall. And this bracelet will help me build the home of my dreams. And this pyramid is guaranteed to boost my test scores. With all these charms, wishes I didn't even know I had will come true. I'll be happy, happy, cool, cool. What's up, Yori? Job calls, no calls, no work. You know, I've been thinking about what you said. How gods and regalias are together in mind and body. <laughs> you were lucky to find such a great regalia. Don't you think it's time to clean up your act a little? Pull yourself together. Yukine's counting on you now. Get up, Yori. Go get your body. Huh? There's somebody I want to introduce you to. Why'd we come here? Kofku? Anyone here? Hey! Huh? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> hey, long oh time God. to see, huh? <laughs> yeah, so who do you think she is, anyway? Oh the way they're greeting each other, you think that? No way, that'd be impossible. <laughs> Guys, this is Kofku. She's my girlfriend. Nice. Huh. Yachi and I go way, way back. Nice to meet you. Girlfriend, no way! She's a hottie! Anyway, I've got a favor to ask you, my dear. I'll do anything you want, you know that. Here's the deal. I recently made this kid into a regalia, which is great, but works kind of scarce lately, you know? Breaks my heart. I'd like to get him a hot meal in this weather, 
But how can I when I haven't even been able to provide shelter for him yet? I think that's the saddest story I've ever heard! Don't worry, I'll help you out! Let me see what I have here! There, do you think this will be enough? You're a lifesaver! A real sweetheart! That's what you are, baby! Regalia. In weapon form, the name's Koku. As a person, I'm Daikoku. Ah. Oh, God. This is cool. Abisu's is a pretty big name, right? Yeah, one oh, of the right. seven gods of fortune. Sure looks different in person, doesn't she? What are you talking about over there? Uh, oh, nothing really. Just about how cute of a couple you are, that's all. <laughs> couple? Mm, well, yeah, I mean, the two of you are married, aren't you? Of course not. Huh? But what you called Goddess Abisu earlier. We're casual here at Koku's Vine. It's just that before you called Kofuku your lady. A lady, like a title. As in she's my goddess. Aren't you? Mm-hmm. I wonder what my tea leaves will say. Reading tea leaves is a bogus practice. <laughs> what are you staring at? Was there something you wanted to say to me? Be careful. Don't look that guy in the eyes. Huh? Doing that can be dangerous. You might never get away, despite his tough exterior. He has a thing for kids like you! <laughs> Don't say it like that! You make me sound sick! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea, okay? My Daikoku loves kids. That's all Yachi meant. Daikoku cares about children. He could do nothing but sit and watch them play all day long. You see what you did there? Now I'm starting to sound creepy again. Now, let's talk, kid. <laughs> Quit it. Don't be ridiculous. All right, boy. You're a regalia. What's your name? You, Yukine. Been a regalia long? No, sir. Not long at all. I just started, actually. <sighs> I see. Young for such a responsibility. Do you think he's too young? What about you? Oh, sorry? Do you have a name? Yes, I'm Hiyori Iki. Oh! I'll just call you Yori, okay? That's fine. You seem like you're just a regular human girl, Yori. What's your relationship to Yati? What relationship? I don't even care about the jerk. Come on now! Why do you look so upset? <laughs> What's wrong? Tell me! Tell me! I'm very sorry. My lady can be crazy sometimes. <laughs> You're a B-cup, aren't you? I can tell. She looks so happy like that, doesn't she? She just loves meeting new people. <laughs> so, anyway, life good with Yato? Sounds about right. He's not much of a people person, huh? I really want to change jobs. Well, do it then. Could I work here? My lady doesn't need anybody's help but mine. Of course not. Hey, would you like some advice, Yuki? Yuki? You should really be careful. Yachi and I are close and all, but I've heard some nasty rumors about him before. Uh, rumors? Like what? Trust me, despite how he might look, he's a scary god. Oh, stop that. There's no need to frighten him. Time to go! I got a call for some work! Come on, you can aim! We're oh, you're not gonna wait for me! Uh, thanks for having us, sorry. Aww! Leaving already? But you just got here! Yato, what were you up to bringing those two here? I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive me someday. Thanks for calling the delivery guy. Yato, at your service. Uh, you pushed him, Yato! My bad! Hey, I didn't jump. I fell. 
Incredible. Everything goes wrong for me, even this. No need to despair. Hello, sir. Are you sick of the daily grind? Depressed about your love life? Hi there, ma'am. Having trouble balancing your career and your family? What's that, kids? There's some bullies in your class that need to be taken down a notch or two? Well, good news. I can solve any problem, big or small. That's right. I'm fast and affordable. I'm the delivery guy, Yasuo. Call anytime, ladies and... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I should introduce myself as well. Here's my card, or what used to be my card. Is everyone here crazy? Ah, let me see here. So it looks like you work at an ad agency. Or did. That's right. However, the company recently went bankrupt. That's why I'm here now. I didn't know what else to do. I wanted to call my parents to apologize for doing this. But I guess I accidentally dialed your number instead. That explains a hang-up, then. I mean, anyway... The hand of fate is clear in this. Start from the beginning. How did this happen? Maybe you should start by saving him! Well, I suppose it all began last You're winter. You're doing this now?! I happened to come across a young woman. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Hey, why are we using my face for this?! You just popped into my head, I guess, because you're right here. Sorry. Stripes, huh? I wouldn't have guessed that. Ah! Thinking she might be a runaway, I offered to take her to find some help. You must be really hungry, huh? You want something to eat? We can take care of that. No, thanks. Huh? I'm not allowed to go out to eat. It's a strict rule. I'd be scared to break it. Although I do sometimes sneak out into town anyway, I can't help it. The poor girl. I could tell she was living in a very controlling household. She was barely even allowed outside, like a lovely bird trapped in a cage. You could stand a change of pace. So where would you like to go? <laughs> and that's it. That's how we first started dating. It was the happiest time of my life. I'm gonna vomit! This guy takes advantage of vulnerable young women! Someone call the police! It wasn't like that. I care deeply for her. I never did anything indecent. I swear on my life! I don't believe you, you perv! Anyway, I came to enjoy spoiling her. What do you think? <laughs> it looks fantastic on you. Promise? You really don't mind buying all this for me? Well, everything looks so good on you. Of course, I'm broke until I get paid again, but oh well. Thank you so much, Yusuke. I love you. Yeah, I'm not a puke! You're picturing me, it's creepy! How long have we been falling now? Wait, this is for me? Just a little present. Oh, do you like copy balls? Mm hmm they're my favorite. I've never been to Copypa Land, though. It's called the Kingdom of Dreams and Hope, so of course I'm not allowed to go. What a sad time! <laughs> I'll take you. We'll see it together. You mean it? It was around then that things started to go wrong. I don't know how else to explain it. started to run into all sorts of bad luck. As things got worse, my job performance steadily dropped, I never got bonuses anymore, and my meager savings dried up almost before I knew it. But I just couldn't imagine not being with her anymore. I was desperate. I know you're in there. One thing led to another, and I went bankrupt. Come and collect what you owe. I just wanted to be with her. But with the hole I had dug for myself, I knew I would only become a burden. I wanted to spend our lives together. I had been planning to propose to her. Not now! I don't deserve her anymore! Hey, uh, you got a pic of this girl I could take a look at? Huh? A picture? There's something familiar about this story. Here she is. <laughs> That's Goku! Huh? How do you know her name? Should have guessed it sooner. What? Why? How could you possibly know? Guess I didn't tell you everything earlier. Kovku is the god of poverty. Huh? The, the god, god of poverty? poverty? Well, she doesn't go by her title most of the time. And I can't say that I blame her, really. It's not exactly the kind of thing that makes you popular. Take my advice on this one, man. Forget about that girl. Seriously, ditch her. Uh huh? It 
god of poverty only brings disaster. Spend time with her and you're basically asking to have your life ruined. Oh, there's one more thing. She has a guy in her life you don't want to cross. And if it helps at all, she's not nearly as young as she looks. We're talking way older than your grandma. Way older than your grandma's grandma's grandma, for that matter. <laughs> all right then. We'll sever your ties to her and then you'll be good. Huh? Sever his ties to her? But doesn't that He'll mean... He'll forget everything having to do with Kovku. Uh, I don't want to forget her, though! No, I refuse! You can't make me agree to this, can you? I strongly recommend you do this. If you don't, you'll die very soon. Well, I'll die then! You don't understand! I love her with my whole heart! How stupid are you?! Someone who would end his own life like this doesn't know a damn thing about love! <sighs> Think we can hurry this up, please! It just keeps getting more and more insane. All right, you can end. You're up, kid. Huh? Wait, hold on. I've never severed anyone's ties before. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Have a little faith, okay? Come, Seki! <laughs> Anything you want me to tell, Kofku? Just this, please. I wish you the best. Have a happy life. Very well, I've heard your wish loud and clear. Hear me. I am the god Yato. I hear my seven ties. Seki! Thunder! ties while you're still a rookie. Oh, I didn't realize it was a big deal. Well, it is. Severing a bond is much more difficult than making one. And Regalia's abilities play a big part in how well it works, too. It was so easy, I'm really surprised to hear that. <laughs> That's the right attitude. Yato, looks like you found yourself a good Regalia. Yeah, I know. When I picked him, I had a feeling he was more than a pretty face. Isn't that right, Yukine? Get off of me, stop it, freak! <laughs> oh, oh, Leave me alone, sweaty hats! Sorry about all this. Thanks a lot for cleaning up Kovku's mess. It was my pleasure. Later! Bye, Pernu! I hope you'll come back on the regular Sure. This is getting old. Leave me alone, Will. And, um, about what you said earlier. Huh? When you said Yato was a scary god. <laughs> that was all just a joke, right? Oh no, it's true. It was a long time ago, but Yati did kill a regalia once. Before I met him, I'd only ever heard rumors, and they weren't exactly very nice ones. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, Yati is a god of war. He kills people too sometimes. He kills people... Where did... That was a long time ago. Things were different then, you know? It was basically kill or be killed. Sorry, I don't understand. What are you talking about? The way things work for a god. People's wishes are what give gods the ability to exist. Powerful gods enjoy constant worship and wishes. That isn't true for the obscure gods, though. They have a hard enough time even being remembered. So, what do you do to keep from being forgotten? You grant any wish that comes your way. No matter what it is, no matter who it came from. Whatever it is? Really? You were there a long time. <laughs> what were you chatting about? Yato, why did you bring me to meet Kofku? I know you had a reason. Listen, if anything happens to me, I want you to go straight to those two. Do you understand? Yeah, got it. Oh, wow. Why does he smell so nice? Uh. 
when I picked him, I had a feeling he was more than a pretty face. Hi. You know, you have really pretty eyes. That's enough, Nora. What do you want? For starters, you could call me by my name. Please, Yato. It isn't so much to ask, is it? I love that name. Wait, is this girl... Is she a regalia of yours, too? Remember, whenever you need me, I'll be waiting. Just waiting for you to call my name. That's all you have to do. See? Here we have a little phantom. <laughs> what are you doing, Yato? Good. We want that reaction. Hate and fear will help you draw a borderline. And what's that? The borderline is what serves as a regalia shield. It's also his only weapon. Now then, you did some pretty nice work the other day. I think you're ready for this. Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere. <laughs> it's real simple. Make your fingers into a halberd. Then use them to draw a line like this between you and it. Uh, okay. Here it goes! Amazing! So that's what you were talking about? Yep, useful stuff. Phantoms can't cross it. It acts as a boundary between self and other. Is it something you can do too? Or... or even me? No, you and I can't do this. Borderlines are regalia power. Any regalia should be able to make one. But creating one that's this strong without practice? I've never known a regalia who could do that. It's a first. Speaking of the regalias that he knows... So, um, that girl we ran into down by the water, Nora, she's a regalia too? Ah, Nora, huh? How to put it? I guess you could call her a friend with benefits. Eh. I've decided that I'm gonna look after you, Kine. Huh? You are? That's crazy. He can't stay with you. It would never work. It makes more sense for him to stay with me than with you. You don't have a place to live or what even resembles any sort of stable life. It's all <gasps> like girlfriends, <gasps> affairs, and friends with benefits. <gasps> You're the depraved, irresponsible, and unfit to be anyone's guardian! Yukine is obviously better off in my care. You'll just corrupt him! Get away from her! Stop that! What are you doing to the poor thing? Ah, come on! I'm getting stung like crazy here! Wait, can you see you're hurting him? You're gonna pull his arm out of the socket! I think he's hurting! Look at me! I'm getting seriously stung! I told you! When he has naughty thoughts, I'm the one who pays for it! Every one of them stings me! What do you mean, naughty thoughts? Ah, please! You were just talking about him living with you! At his age, that's basically guaranteeing a whole crap ton of dirty thoughts! The answer is no! He'll be staying with me! You know, I think it's really someone else who has his mind in the gutter. Unlike you, he's a good boy. There's nothing to worry about. Now come with me, Yukine. No, Yukine! Don't you dare! <laughs> Your house is freaking huge. You must be really rich or something, huh? Don't be silly. I'm just an ordinary teenager. Yeah, well, this doesn't look very ordinary to me. Are your parents around here somewhere? <laughs> we got lucky. It looks like they're actually out late tonight. Huh? You mean it's just you and me? We have the whole place to- Shh! <laughs> oh, I thought I heard you, Hiyori. Yeah, it's me, Sasuke. Nice evening, isn't it? I have a bathroom for you. Feel free to hop in whenever you're ready, dear. Awesome! Go ahead.
ahead and make yourself at home. You can stay in here. Huh? Really? Isn't this your room, though? No. It's my big brother's. Your brother? Yeah, he's a lot older than me. He doesn't live here anymore, so the room's all yours. <sighs> oh, okay. It's great, if you're sure. I'm not far. My room's next door. Let me know if you need anything. Well, see you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Looks like Hiyori's really living a dream life, isn't she? Everything went as planned. We made a stealthy entrance unnoticed by my housekeeper or my parents. Oh, hi, you guys. Surprise, Wiley. Lucky. We brought home a tasty snack. Well, I think I'll have a knife, cat, if that's OK with you, dear. <laughs> oh, you are absolutely incorrigible. Best part of my day. Now for a little Don't eat too much now. Have you washed your hands, dear? Uh what are you doing? You know you're supposed to be watching your cholesterol. But I was just having a little. Your mom sure doesn't miss much, does she? What are you doing here? This is my house. Jeez, what's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna notice that I'm here. The whole point was to separate you and I from your bad influence. Speaking of, how's he taking it so far? How do you think? He's thrilled, of course. Do you think he really enjoys sleeping in a different random shrine every night with you? Unlike this house, shrine grounds and buildings are sacred territory, which means they keep us safe from phantom attacks. Even so? Haven't you ever heard that things go bump in the night? That's the phantom's favorite time. Poor kid. I doubt he'll be able to handle it. Huh? The thing about him is he is he's afraid of the dark. Oh man, I don't even know how long it's been since I've had a hot bath. What now? I wonder what Yato will do if I decide not to go back to him. Maybe he'll switch, start using that girl instead. But if he does, what happens to me? <laughs> huh? Why do I feel like I know that smell? <gasps> Hold on, is it... is it because... <laughs> Did he only just take a bath in this water too? <gasps> Here you are, I've been looking for you. Hey, Hiyori, I found what I needed. Don't worry about it. Gotta train harder, build stronger quads. Gotta master the jungle. You need something, Yukine? I woke you up, I'm sorry. It's okay. Is something wrong? Well, um, it's going to sound stupid, but your dad turned off the lights in my room. And I, well, you know, I don't like the dark much. Oh, I get it. Well, want to sleep with me? Huh? It's okay, see? Come on in. Oh, no, I can't, really. Hurry up already, it's getting cold. But I... Yeah, it's been a while since I slept with someone, too. You don't smell like a boy. You smell nice. I like this. Lying next to someone. It's soothing. It's kind of nice not to be alone at night, you know?
do you think you're doing? <laughs> You jerk! What are you doing here? Don't give me that, you little punk! What were you about to do? No, I... Uh, listen, he already said I could be there! You're not ready to have girls in your life yet, so behave. For now, I'm all you need. When you say stuff like that, it makes me want to puke. <gasps> and anyway, you've got a girl. A regalia like me, but she's a chick. So what do you even need me for? <laughs> Gonna be another stormy night. Closing in on downtown. Location reached. Incoming, six o'clock. I'm glad you came. This is fun. Mm. Didn't have anything else to do, so... Those look nice. You want a pair? Uh, it is getting colder outside. Let's see how much I have. No, it's okay. I don't need anything, I promise. Oh, come on. I want to get them for you. But I'm fine, really. I mean, it's not like anyone can see me, right? So if I want something, I can just borrow it. than that. What you're doing is no different than stealing. What? I said I'm just borrowing it. I'll give it right back. Well, it's still wrong. Here, give it to me. The next time you want something like this, just tell me, okay? Where did he go? Hey. Getting a little R&R, &R, not feeling so good today. You are looking after him, like you said, aren't you? Because it seems like he's been getting in trouble. How could you possibly know that? Like I said before, Master and Regalia share mind and body. I feel it when Yukine gives in to the temptation to behave badly. That's just how things work for us. We're closely connected. In that case, is the opposite true? You can make it stung when you swipe some of my dad's drinks from the fridge? No, it's not like that. The pain only goes in one direction, you see. From regalia to master. Which actually makes sense if you think about it. After all, regalias used to be people. And people sin. Some more than others. Resentment. Fear. Envy. Desperation, sadness, greed. Those emotions tempt regalias to do what they otherwise might not. Acting on them brings pain. We gods feel that pain, and from it we learn something of what it is to be human. Listen, Yori, I think there are some things I ought to clear up for you. People decide what's right and wrong, but those concepts don't apply to gods. To put it in simple terms, Gods get to do whatever they want, even if that includes hurting someone or taking a life. Someday Yukine may need punishment. Divine punishment. Yato. But Yato did kill a regalia once. He kills people too sometimes. I... I have to go. I need to find Yukine! Again, of all the things to leave behind. I screwed up. I wonder if she's still mad at me. Crap, it's that late? I hate this. 
the dark. I'm scared. It's dark. I don't like the dark. Mommy, please come and get me. You stop walking. You can see me. Killing her is the only choice we have now! 
consumed by a phantom, a soul is utterly lost. Its existence can be nothing but a living hell. You must do this. Show her mercy and free her! <laughs> you can <leave. laughs> slaying a phantom. He appears to have obtained a new regalia. I see. so much. It's Yato's fault, forcing me to kill that girl. to the next grade with everybody else. <laughs> but we're starting to worry about you. I'm doing plenty of studying, thank you very much. Oh, hey, have either of you seen a boy wearing a green parka around anywhere? He comes up to about here. A boy, huh? Yeah, he's kind of young. <laughs> oh, hello, this is Iki. Your daughter's in a torrid relationship. And we're in the middle of exam season. Oh, no, don't listen to them, Mom. It's not like that, I promise you. Yeah. Yeah. like to introduce them to Yato and Yukine sometime. Of course, there's not much point. They'd probably forget they met them as soon as it happened. And then... I can't really pretend like I know Yato all that well myself. Man, that was too easy! <laughs> I can pretty much do anything I want! What the hell's your problem? Yacht? 
Toronto. Want to tell me where you got this? Uh, uh, well, he already bought it for me. <laughs> Yukine! Uh, uh, You've been with Yato? Oh man, that's a relief. Yori, that was real nice of you to buy this for him. Huh? Uh, oh, sure. I'm nice like that. sky. Twilight serves as the boundary between day and night. The people of this world, they fear the darkness and hide from it. While the inhabitants of the other world blend into the darkness and run wild. With its reddish hue, the setting sun blurs the distinction between the worlds. As the evening shadows grow deeper and harden into pervasive darkness. This is the time when those lost in the Divide can most easily cross the boundary. People once referred to this as the time of day when the monsters emerged from their slumber. Yukine, this time is known as... The Fiendish Hour. when I explain things to you? I'm blaming you for the trouble that just landed on us. I found you at last, God of Calamity. Hi, Bishamon. Bishamon? That's right. The strongest war god that I wish I never met. She's a god? Well, aren't you on the same side, then? Why is she attacking we us? We tangled once a long time ago, and she's been trying to kill me ever since. <gasps> then count me out of this one. You can fight her on your own! I don't know. I doubt she's gonna just let you walk away. This is a matter of revenge for her. She wants me and my regalia. Well, thanks a lot! My grudge may drive me to slay you both, but the punishment of evil will make it just. <laughs> that punishes evildoers? Revenge against Yato? She even wants to kill his regalia? If anything happens to me, I want you to go straight to those two. Do you understand? <laughs> Kazuma, I need you to track him. Understood. Target currently moving north-northeast. Distance 2.1, 1.9, the area is lightly crowded, but I suggest restraint in your attacks. Only one regalia. Abilities unknown. Well, killing is the only thing Yato's skilled at. Kuraha, deploy your pincer attack! As you wish, milady. <laughs> And I'm so exhausted right now. Huh? Quit being such a pansy. What? I am not a pansy. I can feel it. You've been stinging me non-stop with your crap. How many times I gotta tell you that your volatile emotional state affects me too? Get it together! But that woman, she's a god just like you. Are you seriously gonna fight another god? She's the one attacking us, okay? And you're... 
gonna use me? Obviously! It's your job to kill what I want dead! Everything Bishamon has with her, all of her weapons, even her clothes and that beast, they're all regalias. Huh? You're saying that lion's a regalia? You got it. On top of that, she's got Kazuma, who handles her navigation and coordinates the other regalias. His all-seeing guidance makes Bishamon the mightiest war god of them all. Hey! Why aren't you hiding? She'll see us! She'll find us no matter what. I'm making a stand right here. Well, I've still got some strength. What? But I don't want to fight her! It's her! Snap the second too. Catch him, Kinoa! It grabbed you. It's a regalia. I told you that. Now shut up and focus, you get it. Gaiki. Locking on. Targeting cervical vertebrae and left humerus. Zero point in two, one. Fire! Uh. Impressive. Uh, sorry. Kinoha! You evil scum! How dare you! I swear I'll never let you kill another regalia! Hold on. You've killed the regalia? Didn't I tell you to shut up, Yukine? Get over it! You've been stalking me for years now! Haven't you got anything better to be doing? You crazy half naked tramp! Your existence is an obscenity to nature! I will eradicate you! Suki! Oh. Oh. The blades don't! Come on, pull yourself together! Oh. Hey, Yori, what's going on? Hi, Yori! Talk about perfect timing! What kind of Daifuka bun do you like better? We have the kind with... It's Yato! Bishamon's attacking him and Yukine! Bishamon, huh? Oh, jeez. I can't believe Bisha's still trying to kill poor Yati after all this time. She called him... What was it? A god of calamity, I think? What does that mean? Just another way of saying a god that causes disaster. <gasps> Yachi's a scary war god. You haven't already forgotten who told you that, have you? It was a long time ago, but Yachi did kill a regalia once. Wait a minute. The regalia Yato killed. Does this mean that it was Bishamon's regalia? <laughs> this is only between Yato and Bishamon. It's none of our business, and I'm staying out of it. Uh, but Yato told me to come to you for help. You just have to help him. Please, what will he do without you? You really are desperate to help him, huh? I know, you've got a thing for Yachi, don't you? Uh -huh. No, I don't, honestly. So he's blackmailing you then, isn't he? Extortion? That's just awful. There's not a single person who trusts him. Uh, none of that. I still need his help with my body problem. Hmm. Don't you worry, uh, Yori. I'm more than happy to help you. Oh, wow, thanks. You can just pay me your money offering later. Huh? Just remember, you asked for this. And don't blame me for the fallout. So, where is Yato? Uh, I'm actually not sure. Oh, wait. Maybe I can find him. She has a cord! She's a half phantom. <laughs> I've noticed that all of the gods have a pleasant smell to them. But that smell is slightly different for each one of them. Hey! 
Kyoto. That lady. The one that's chasing us. Did you really kill her regalia? Yeah. Then it's only natural she wants revenge on you. Why'd you do it? Because I wanted to, all right? Nothing more. So it's that easy for you then, huh? Is what that easy? And me? Are you gonna kill me if I screw up? Or if you just don't need me anymore? Not that I matter to him. Even without me, he's still got that other regalia, Nora. You're stinging me again, damn it! Seriously, man up and get your head straight! What? Your fear is killing me here! It's put me in a real slump, freaking wimp! Hey, you're just as scared as I am! What?! Your hands are five times sweatier than usual, old drippy. Who the hell are you calling old drippy? I'm talking to you, aren't I, you moron? Well, it takes a moron to recognize a moron, you freaking moron! Saki! <laughs> ah! You're like a walking armory. And come on. Did you have to take out all those trees? Did the forest kill one of your regalias as well? I can overlook some immoral collateral damage to purge evil. Well, it's a good thing you got the power of righteousness on your side, then. Make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? Those will be your final words. Whoa! I can't fight that! That monster will tear me in half! you have any connection to me. Oh, right! Out of respect for Lady Kofku, I'll let you live for today. But I will kill you the next time we meet, with my own hands! So try not to get any more blight. Let's go, Kazuma. It's dangerous here. We gotta go. Right. Nice work back there, Kofku. 
<laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? I'm being sarcastic. You screwed everything off. You increase. She saved your sorry ass from death. Oh, jeez. That hurt, Tycho. That was supposed to. There were some really high force winds blowing through the city at sundown. I heard a whole patch of trees in the woods were knocked down. How frightening. that lady. You acted on a personal grudge, without thinking about others. As a master, it was completely irresponsible, Vina. That's enough. Dealing with the fallout from the vents is our priority now. It was my fault the damn thing was opened. I am duty-bound to exterminate those phantoms. Prepare to go hunting. Now that is the lady I follow. Kuraha, Kinoha, Yugiha, Akiha, Karuha, Kazuha, Tsukuha. Let's go.
Yukine, are you awake yet? I brought breakfast, so I hope you're hungry. Thanks, Yori. Sounds great. Oh, what the? What are you doing here, Yato? You weren't invited. Where's Yukine? Oh, he ran away. Probably over at Tenji's place. He ran away? And you didn't stop him? Why would I? It's not like I need him right now, anyway. <laughs> saw him. He came by this morning. I'd like to work for you instead of Yato. Can I do that? Hmm. So, the new kid only lasted a month, huh? That doesn't seem like long. How long were you Lord Yato's regalia? Three whole months. Oh, wow! I don't know how you did it! No way I'd be able to! That sounds impossible. That's enough, ladies. It does seem early to have decided you no longer want Lord Yato as your master. Is there a specific reason? I can't stand the guy. Isn't that enough? He doesn't have a shrine, he's broke, he's obnoxious, he has a screwed up past. And besides, he already has a regalia. So there you go. Why should I waste time hanging around with a guy like that? Hmm. While I'm flattered and delighted you would ask for my help, I fear it wouldn't be appropriate for me to agree. You wouldn't want me to give you a name right now, child. Doing that would make you a Nora, you see. Nora. Sorry, but what does that mean exactly? Until now, I thought it was just someone's name. How should I explain? Nora's are embarrassing, private parts of a god's life, you know. Get it? Private parts. <laughs> <laughs> My lord, perhaps you should restrain yourself. It's only a figure of speech, Suyu. I'm not trying to scandalize the girl. <clears throat> what is a Nora? Onora is a regalia with many owners, not unlike a stray cat for comparison. But those who choose to go by many names are seen as less reliable and more likely to betray their masters. As such, they are looked down upon, despised. Think of it this way. What if I offer to become your godfather? I'll give you a pretty new name and everything. It'll be fun. I would make a great godparent. Huh? Now, what would be a good name? Yumi, maybe? Or Tomo? Uh, Yuko? Thanks a lot, but no. See? It feels disrespectful, even a bit wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. The kind of idea that people instinctively recoil from. And that's how Norris are seen. Why they are regarded with such hate. They're that bad? Oh, yes. Normally a regalia has but one name and serves only one master. It is commonly accepted that to serve a new master, one must first be unnamed by the previous master, just as Mayu was. If they're so reviled, why do Noras even exist? For unsavory tasks. To put it another way, they're generally used to perform jobs you wouldn't give to your own regalias. <laughs> um, Lord Tenjin, I wonder if you know a girl Nora I met a little while ago. About the same age as Yukine, I Please, think. that's enough. We don't like to talk about Noras. The very mention of them sends shivers down our spines. Oh. Though my lord does seem to speak freely of them. <laughs> no need to worry. I've never made use of one before, nor do I intend to. I have no wish to entangle myself with such wretched creatures as Noras.
I smell someone, but it isn't Yato. <gasps> it's Bishamon! <laughs> that confirms it. You can see us. You're one of Bishamon's people. And you're that strange living spirit. The half-phantom from before. Yato has many odd acquaintances. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm going to die! Restraint. I can't move a single inch! Have a location on the next phantom? No. Uh, there aren't any here, milady, or none that I can smell anyway. Kuraha's correct. We've pretty much cleared out this entire area. All that remains is the south southeast region. Oh. Wait a sec. They don't even realize I'm here? It's a bit soon, but let's try widening the area. Indeed. I'll catch up with you once I've conducted one final search. Very well then. I'm sorry, Kuraha. I know your wounds haven't healed yet. Don't worry, my lady. This is nothing. Look after her. I'll follow soon. Right. Interesting. They're nothing like Lord Tenjin or Kofku. They work as one big team. I didn't know that was possible. I wouldn't meddle if I were you, Hiyoriiki. It could be dangerous. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey! How do you know what my name is? And, uh, what did you just do to me? It's a talent of mine, manipulating the things around me. It often comes in handy, given my line of work. Would you like this back? Hey, you have my wallet! Uh, but when could you have... You should be more careful. If you cross paths with Bishamon again, keep your head down. Or things could go badly for you. I still don't understand why you helped me. I was under the impression you hated Yato. Make no mistake, he is certainly our enemy. However, I also owe him a great deal. <sighs> Speaking of which, is he doing all right? <laughs> he was blighted. It looked to be pretty severe. It's that bad? The blight source wasn't external. It most likely came from the inside. Yato's regalia. Seki in that form, right? It should be disposed of as soon as possible. <sighs> what do you mean? There's nothing to worry about! Yukine's a good kid! He used to be human! Isn't killing regalias like killing people?! It was a long time ago, but Yati did kill a regalia once. He kills people too sometimes. <sighs> Something must be done before it's too late. If a regalia repeatedly does wrong, its master will fall seriously ill. If left untreated, the pain will intensify. The blight will spread throughout the body, growing ever worse. <sighs> Honestly, why is he even using such a regalia? Huh? You appear to be his close companion. Has he not mentioned anything about it to you? Uh, no, he hasn't. I know this may seem like an odd request. But please look after Yato. I'd hate to lose him like this. Right, I'll see what I can do. Yukine must be dealt with. If that doesn't happen soon... Damn it! Stupid, useless old Keter. Got rejected, did ya? Got a job. You coming? Huh? Gotta 
to skim the soup. You call this a job? Are you kidding? You suck at being a god. Try a temp agency instead. Quiet, you whiny brat. This is an honest job for an honest client. The shop would have to close its doors without late night help like us. Oh, God, God, God. Oh. This sucks. Seriously, how do I put up with this kind of crap? Oh, you're actually here. And so are you. Hello there, Yachty! No, not her! Ah! No gods of poverty wanted here! You punk! Think I'll let you touch my lady ah! like that? It's justice and you know it! You two go around tricking people with that fake name of hers! It's just plain shady! She uses a trade name! Plenty of other places do the same thing! <laughs> How's your latest gig? We love Yori! She's been so helpful, she brought us straight to you! You brought them? How'd you even know where I was, though? Um, actually, it's your... <laughs> Same thing when we ask, you won't cough it up. Cough it up? What are you, a gangster? Well, what's she doing here? We got a job that's not our style, so we were gonna see if you wanted it. You do want it, don't you? <laughs> I guess I could take it. Hey, uh, you're looking a little pale. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, man. Couldn't afford dinner again? Yukine, what did you do this time? What? You really think I stole money, do you? That's messed up. Oh, come on, man. Even a god's given up on me. Great. I was better off being dead than working for you. Yato was right. You did steal it. <laughs> oh dear, that's bad. I'll take that job, thanks. You guys will stay and look after the shop, right? Uh -huh. Wait, get back here! That'll be 582 yen, please! <laughs> thanks for your business, sir! All it says is to eliminate the phantom that has appeared above Kamiido. It's a simple enough job. Yeah, I bet branch shrines are getting lots of these types of requests since the vent was opened. Yato. Huh? About Yukine. I'll find him. Can't do much phantom slaying without a regalia. That's why you really gotta keep track of the things, you know? No, I wasn't asking. I mean what I wanted. How do I say this? I know, I get it. Uh this problem needs to be put to rest. It should be disposed of as soon as possible. about it, okay? Sure, I will. <laughs> you have such pretty eyes for a boy. They remind me of the fruit on the hawthorn plants. You know, 
Not even birds will eat the hawthorn fruit. <gasps> Not because of their taste. They aren't poisonous or anything. They're just empty is all. Useless, empty fruit. They offer nothing. And of course nobody bothers to pick them, so they're left on the plant to wilt, wither, and die as pointlessly as they lived. <laughs> hmm. Poor lonely little boy. <gasps> Yukine! What are you doing with him, Nora? You know, Yato, you should really use me more, like you used to. <laughs> you know I'm good. I can kill anything in your way with no trouble. Come on. Don't listen to anything Nora says. She's vindictive. Focus on one thing. On that. Now? Are you sure? Wait! Yato! of the rising sun, your desecration shall not be allowed. Hear me, I am the god Yato. I now lay thee waste with the Seki and expel thy vast defilement. I cleanse thee! Regardless of age. Thus, I must be prepared to enter even a high school bathroom if that's where the request leads. I'm not buying it! What kind of client would ask you to come here? Allow you me heard? to introduce our client! I didn't mean to. Don't hurt me! Sorry, very sorry, but I'm not being dirty or anything, though honest. I just had to get away from those jerks. It's true. My name's Manabu Ogiwara. I'm in class 2A. There are these guys in my class. They mess with me whenever we have a break. So I hid. I figured this was one place they'd never find me. I'm sorry. It was a stupid plan. I had no idea. Now I'm sorry. I should have let you explain all this first. Yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna be something like this. 
That's usually the case when I get called out to a school. You've seen this sort of thing before? Bullying is real common. And I happen to be just the type of guy victims call when they want some help. I can see why. They're desperate enough to clutch at straws. Or at gods. <laughs> what did I ever do to them? I hate this stupid school so much. I wish I could go anywhere else. <laughs> You're getting angry because you can see yourself in it. I get it, really. It's not fair. But being pissed at him won't help anything. Don't give me that! What the hell do you know about me?! I'm nothing like that whiny loser! And I'm sick and tired of tagging along on these useless jobs of yours! Wait, don't go! Not exactly a sweet-tempered kind of kid, huh? <laughs> you can learn from him. In your case, it might actually be helpful to let it all out like that. Huh? Here, you can use this. Uh, uh, I... I don't... Remember this, if you decide to fight. <laughs> I can't believe you gave him that! I hope you have some kind of plan in mind! Just adding some fuel to the fire. I want Manabu to try defending himself for once. How he chooses to do that is up to him. I guess so. But couldn't you and Yukine handle it somehow? By severing his ties to the bullies, maybe? What's the matter? <laughs> you know, you did just give me a beating. I think I'll go lay down. Was this a bad idea? Being here could push Yukine too far. Maybe to his breaking point. <laughs> Hold on a second! What do you mean, breaking point? So he thinks I'm like that other kid? What a joke, I'm not even alive. As long as I've got this, I can't go anywhere. I'm stuck with the least popular god ever. And this really sucks! Day duty. The class field trip. This month's goals? Guidance counseling. Everyone wears the same thing. Is this how I used to dress? All rise. Attention. Bow. Be seated. I solved it! <laughs> so what do we have next? Uh, language arts. <gasps> Let me see your homework. Man, do you ever do yours? My folks are really pissing me off. They seriously want me to quit judo. The big tournament's coming up, though. Oh, man. So many kids, and they're all my age. Uh. I can't believe you brought that with you again. You know they're gonna take it up. Don't be a narc. <clears throat> That's it! Get him good! Get him! Awesome! When did you level up, dude? <laughs> Sweet, huh? I had my brother help me. Hey! Can we all come to your house today? Well, I don't know. I'm busy. Come on! We're your friends! Friends, huh? That must be nice. Or else you could just die instead. 
Say goodbye to the cruel, cruel world. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kinuha. I'm Suguha. And I'm Kazuma. There you go. You've met all my weapons. Good afternoon. We've come today in hopes of getting an augury. We dealt with the phantoms that escaped the vent, but we'd like to take precautions. Will you help? In this area here, and uh, let me think. I don't get it. What are they doing? What's an augury? Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you're still new here, so there are things you don't know. Every once in a while, our lady comes here to consult Lady Kovku about where more vents will open. Any, me, miny, mo, catch vents catch almost catch always open in locations she divines Even like this. Of course, go. one could always argue that they open because she points them out. Now, now, that's not kind to say. Vents are tricky. They open when you least expect them. But doing this can help a bit. It's not surefire, but it's the best thing we've got right now. Another one? There are a lot. <laughs> Your work's not over yet, Bisha. It looks like you've still got a lot of phantom hunting to do. So it seems. Lady Kofku, I didn't realize that you and Yato were acquaintances. Do you see him often? Once in a while, sure. <coughs> These vents, you wouldn't be opening them intentionally, would you? As a means of keeping me busy and thus away from Yato, perhaps? <laughs> now you're just being silly, Bisha! No. Despite what you might think about my lady, not even she would do that. I assume you're aware of my history with Yato. Yep. Of course. It's not really any of my business. Still, if something were to happen to Yati, well then, there'd be a storm. <gasps> Lady Goku! Threatening to beat Shimon like that, and I thought I couldn't fall for you any harder. <laughs> that was fun. I have a feeling the worst of it's not over yet, though. You think those two are gonna keep fighting then? Mm -mm. That's not what I'm worried about now. Yati was blighted, remember? I wonder how he's doing. be at the school. It's strange, though. I can't smell him. I wonder what's going on. He seemed really worn down, too. Hello, is there anybody in here? Aha, I found you! If left untreated, the pain will intensify. The blight will spread throughout the body. Manabu, I think. 
I know, right? It was my idea. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you see the look on his face? <laughs> or maybe not. Later, man. Oh, it is you. I thought I got a whiff of garbage. What's your problem? You got something to say to me? Really, dude, you're acting kind of freaky. You said kill him. Kill him now. Kill him now. Come on, we're just having some fun is all. I mean, can't you take a joke? Having some fun? That was fun? Remember this, if you decide to fight. It's, it's only, only fair to arm your opponent too. You're messing with me, right? Cut him now. Cut him deep. Cut him deep now. And you'll be one for good. Cross over the line now. Over the line. Cross over the line. It'll feel so good. self-restraint. I like to be prepared. If things had gone south, I had purification water ready. I remembered what you said. That's how I held back. I couldn't use that thing to hurt someone. I really wouldn't belong anywhere if I did that. Because I wouldn't be human anymore. It's up to me. Whatever they do, I have to stay strong. <laughs> You did a good job. <laughs> well, I guess they'll go back to just ignoring me. Man, I tell you, kids these days, they think life's a competition to see who can make the most friends. <laughs> really, one is enough. Find that one unique person and you're all set. All right. I mean, can you be sure those jerks won't try to get back at him for today? Didn't you see? The other kid peed his pants. He won't be telling anyone. I hope things work out and he finds a good friend, like you said. I think he's gonna find what he needs soon. Which is something I'd like to do. Huh? <sighs> find somebody who's completely... unique. Existence. 
You'll never belong where you used to anymore. Why are you ignoring me? Hey! 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 Now you can finally see what it is you really want. But you also know that it can never be yours again. But don't do it, Yukine. No matter how you feel. Damn it. You can't, okay? You can't cross that line. Damn it. Damn it. Too much. I'll have dinner on the table soon enough. Okay. We sure are popular today, huh?
Govku. Take over for a while. I'm gonna visit some nearby shrines. What? Why do you need to do that? What is Yukine's punishment? He needs ablution. Huh? An ablution's a ceremony for expelling blight, but it requires three regalias to pull it off. So we'll need two more besides me. Just to be clear here, you know what'll happen if the ablution fails. You do, right? Yeah. Regardless, we need the other regalias here right away. <sighs> He doesn't look like he'll even last until the morning. Yukine. Take one step from where you're standing and I will kill you. Yeah, whatever. did grant me the name Tomo at one time. Thank you. And who are... Mayu now. We only need one more then. <laughs> I greatly appreciate your assistance. I ask no more. You've been generous enough. Please try not to fret over this. Worrying would only affect Lord Tenjin's health. My lord. has been corrupted. How could that fool allow this? What is he doing? Please, hear me out! Would you kindly allow me to borrow one regalia? I humbly beg of you. Please! When corruption has already set in, there's no guarantee that using regalias can save a master. What kind of regalia inflicts this much upon its master in the first place? You must slay Yukine Yato! Northeast? 
It's all fairly quiet. There are no signs of any vent openings for now. And in the southeast? All clear. Nothing to report. I'll continue to remain alert, though. I'm really sorry, Kazuma, but well... Hmm? A girl's been calling for you outside a shrine for a while now. What is it? Well? Sorry, it's nothing. This girl's too ill-mannered to even offer a bow. Ignore her. Okay. Now then, let's get back to your reports. Please, Kazuma, you have to talk to me! Please, I need your help! We're talking life and death here, Kazuma! Please! <gasps> you couldn't find one more person? You dummy, what's wrong with you? You didn't even try looking, did you? Of course I looked. But no one is willing to take the risk to help the regalia of a god they've never even heard of. Please try to hang in there. We're trying. What are we Please, gonna do now? I tell you not to move? Do I look like I care? And where are you going? Cosma? Who is that? How's Yato holding up? Wh Hold on, isn't Yato your master's sworn enemy? He is, but I personally owe him a debt. On top of that, she came to me for help. Yori? I suggest you give her a stern lecture. I've warned her myself, yet she came right to our front door. Vina would have killed her if she had known. Well, I don't know what kind of debt you owe him. We've got our three regalias now. You do, but the state he's in... This is not going to be easy. Yato, can you hear me? You need to banish Yukine. You can't endure this for much longer. Yato! He just won't listen to reason. That's why an ablution is the only way we can save him. Yukine, what'd you do? I don't know. Nothing. If that's true, then why were you just trying to leave? Because I wanted to, okay? Or maybe it's because you can't handle the guilt you feel. Or it's because I'm sick and tired of all of you! I said I didn't do anything, all right? Is that so? Then you wouldn't mind taking off your shirt for a sec. Oh, what? Why should I? Just shut up and do what I say. belonging to the god Yato, and we preserve the name with which it was graced. What is this? With defilement expelled and avarice removed, we bring forth a sincere principled and just soul. With flesh paired, may he be cleansed. <laughs> I didn't do anything to deserve this! Why the hell are you putting me through this? I'm 
didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> All of this just because of some loose change? So I stole some stuff and I broke some stuff! Who freaking cares? I didn't hurt anyone! Don't act like you don't understand me! It's because we're dead! But they're not! They have everything! And they don't even appreciate it! My folks are really pissed I am my God. brother helping. Come on, we're your friends! Future memories. A family of friends. They get to have everything. Everything that's been taken from me! They've got it all and I have nothing! It's not fair. I'm completely alone. And I have nothing. Nothing at all. You have such pretty eyes for a boy. They remind me of the fruit on the hawthorn plants. You know... Not even birds will eat the hawthorn fruit. <gasps> Not because of their taste. They aren't poisonous or anything. They're just empty is all. Useless, empty fruit. They offer nothing. And of course nobody bothers to pick them. So they're left on the plant to wilt, wither, and die, 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 die. <laughs> Poor lonely little boy. <laughs>
Hand. such a good start. Hey! Good morning, you two. Hey, good to see you. So you really did pick up a part-time job here, huh? Well, it's just... I need to... I want to pay back the money I took, you know? Aw, Yukine! I may be made out of stone. Even I couldn't say no when he told me that. <laughs> you were on the wrong path. <laughs> but it looks like you finally straightened yourself out. Uh, yeah, that is part of it. But it's also because Yato doesn't ever make any damn money! Oh! oh yeah, don't you have a favor you were gonna ask Hiyori? I said that wasn't a big deal. What is it? Uh, um, well, uh... You're getting set to move on to a new grade, right? He was hoping you wouldn't mind passing your old textbooks on to him if you still have them around. He wants to start acting like a normal kid again. It's cool if you don't want to. <laughs> 
Regardless, you guys really saved my butt. Especially you, Tomone. I guess we're still friends. That's Mayu for you. She's a gutsy, dependable girl. All thanks to a certain lowlife who took her in. <laughs> well, I am one hell of a teacher. Oh, yes. And your method follows the four C's, I believe. Crafts. Are they giants, friends now? Crew, I can't girl. tell. Come. Why don't we talk oh, somewhere else? Confidence and culture. Hey, aren't you missing one of the regalias? I think her name was... Miyu? Unfortunately, she was kicked out for stinging Lord Michizane. She was corrupted? Hmm. You see, what happened to you, Yukine, is actually very contagious. Just seeing or hearing about it can affect others. A single sting to a master results in banishment. Lord Michizane Sorry. has never once made an exception to this rule. To harm others or yourself, whether I'm intentional sorry. or not, is to betray the master who named you. Banishment is actually seen as an act of generosity after an ablution. Because a new master might take you in, if you're lucky, that is. Otherwise... I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It simply couldn't be helped. But please, you mustn't let this bother you, no matter how upsetting it may be. It might have an effect on Yanto. Believe me when I tell you this, Yukine. We understand how you felt. Regalias are easily corrupted if they don't maintain their borderlines. Ultimately, we're still far shore beings who dwell alongside phantoms. You must be careful. The darkness is always with you. Darkness. Despite everything, Yato refused to banish you. And now it's your turn. Swear on your name to always protect him. Of course. I swear on my name, Yuki. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> By the way, Tenjin, I could use some advice if you've got it to give. Mm -hmm. It actually has to do with Hiori. You see, after her accident, she kind of slips in and out of her spirit form. Oh. The thing is, I accepted her request to fix it, which would be fine. If I knew what in the hell to do! But I just kept on putting it off! I gotta do it, though. She's helped me out several times now. So it's only right! Now's the time to finally tackle her job! It's remarkable how much of a lost cause you are. Have you considered maybe cutting her ties with you? Huh? It's just a guess, but doing so might actually fix her condition. Wait, cut her ties? It seems to me that the connection between you grants her too much of a focus on our world. Try cutting that connection as a test. Shouldn't be hard for you. 
studying at the library is so much better than studying at home. No kidding. Another day of solid studying. I'm feeling good. They can only do so much with the exams we've got coming. We really need to pick a shrine to pray at. Yeah, we've got to pray to a god. I wish to graduate and to be popular and to be healthy and to be popular and for my family to be safe. You wish to be popular twice. Well, it's that important. <laughs> That sure is a lot of wishes. Don't burden the gods. Isn't it pretty much the gods' job to hear people's wishes, though? I mean, why should I care about their schedules? Right. <sighs> oh, yeah. Speaking of wishes, there's one god people have been talking about lately. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Wait, which god? They say that if you tell him the name of someone you want gone, he'll actually make them disappear for you. Lord Robbo, Lord Robbo, I humbly beg of you. That's it, right? That's how it goes. His name's Rabo? That's the first I've ever heard of that god. It's just a dumb fad. Exactly. Huh? What's with the school books, Hyori? Yeah, those are our old ones. What are you lugging those around for? I'm giving them to a friend of mine. <laughs> What's up, kids? You working hard in here? Hi, Coco. I'll take one of those snacks. What the hell are you doing in our home? Oh, come on, man. Don't be so cold. This room is for no. you tonight. Ah. Not your no. lazy ass. Oh. Go suck up some tea leaves if you're hungry. It's still not right. Do it again. Kiyori, you're kind of strict. It's easy to mess up this part and this part. Try to stay focused. Okay. Hold on. Let me oh. see. The real trick to learning, you gotta draw the stuff. There, the pillow book says Shonagon, Ojuki's Kamo no Jome, and Surizura goes as Yoshiro Kinko. You're good! <laughs> I know, it's impressive. It took work, but with as long as I've been a god, it just. <laughs> Don't uh, ruin my stuff! I didn't ruin it! I graced it with my talent! Why don't you use that talent to earn some money for a change? Why have you always got a butt in? What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Yori! Could you add the black beans to these from me? Okay! Has yet to be found, despite there have been a lot of stories about this slasher on the news lately. I know it's New Year's, but I wish you'd stay home tonight. It's just a shrine visit. And I'll have Yama and Ami with me. I still can't help but worry. I can't believe you took on a dumb job like this on New Year's Eve of all nights. Hey, you gotta take the work when the work comes. The end of your cleaning can be pretty lucrative. But I gotta ask, does a dog really need its own mansion? I know, it's huge. Right? No way. It's even got a heated floor. Are you serious? I am so freaking jealous. Hello? You have successfully reached Delivery God Yato. Available 365 days a year. Yato. Oh, Hyori! Hey, what's going on with you? Well, uh, do you want to come to the Tenjin Shrine tonight for the first visit of the new year? Huh? Why do you want to visit that geezer? You can't think of another god to visit tonight? I'm kind of insulted. Well, I've got my exams coming up. You don't even have a shrine to visit. Ah! Guess I'll have to use your wages to buy one. You a god or a pimp? <laughs> You don't have to visit the shrine. There will be food stalls there, too. Food stalls? We're in! Oh, man, I want some candy food! I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> All out, huh? Now make sure you don't run in this. You don't want it to come loose and fall off of you. I know. Let's see you. Oh, you look lovely. Well, I better go. So that's the half-phantom deluding Yato. That's her. Let's slay her, Reiki. Not yet. And why not? It would be wasteful. She can still be of use to us. Hiyori! You got all 
all dressed up for the new year. Yeah, you said all out! We are going all out. I'm offering a ton of money this year. We've got the test and a new school to worry about. And popularity! Simmer down, dummy. I think it's pretty safe to say the whole class will move on to the next grade. Hiori's playing it safe with that outfit. That's not why I'm wearing it! So, I, uh... I wanted to let you guys know that someone might join us later. If that's cool. What? Is it a guy? Is that why you're dressed up? Hmm. So you're scheming to win his heart by convincing him you're a different person this year? <laughs> no! I swear it's not like that! You've got some serious ambition for the new year. Full blast out of the gate. Honestly, I'm telling you, it's not like that! Jeez! <laughs> Drop it already! Popularity, popularity, popularity! Please give me popularity! Please, please, please! Please let me move on to the next grade without trouble. I used to visit shrines just because I was supposed to. But now, please let me continue to have fun with all my new friends. I want some octopus dumplings. They look tasty. Hey, Hiori, you gonna buy some? Oh, mm -hmm. uh. Iato, wait up! Hiori! Hey, Hiori! Wake up! Her first narcoleptic fit of the year. Oh, man. I can't believe we missed ringing in the new year just to clean a dog mansion. You have no work ethic. If I get hired to clean, I'm not leaving until a job is done. Just hope Yori hasn't gotten sick of waiting. Huh? A text? Yeah, it's for another phantom slaying job. Hey, wait. According to the message, it says to show up right around here. Oh, Come, Saki! This is the land of the rising sun. Your desecration shall not be allowed. Hear me. I am the god Yato. I now lay thee waste with the Seki and expel thy vast defilement. I cleanse thee! Grant! All right. Nicely done, kid. Hey, thanks. That many? Stay calm, Yukine. We've got this. Listen to me. You've really grown a lot. And you're only gonna keep growing stronger. You've gotta believe in yourself! Let me see, Yato. Show me. The power of this regalia. Display his true worth to you. Iato, are you here? I'm not picking up his scent around here. I thought I saw him come this way, but... What's that? I would Is appreciate it... it if you wouldn't speak to me in such a casual manner, you lowly phantom. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, when did I... The ablution. I know you played a large part in the ritual. You were watching? That was the perfect chance to revoke his name. And you squandered it. <laughs> Quite fast on your feet, I see. Go after her. 
her cord. But please try not to accidentally bite it off. Sorry we're so late. Happy New Year! Whoa, hold on! You're not going home, are you? Come on, the bookstores are still open. Let's go! It'll be the first food offering of the year! Uh, Unless you'd rather make your first money offering? Uh... Huh? I, um... Something wrong, Hiori? Do we know each other? Who are you?
like Yachi and Yuki have finally made their way home. Yeah, when exactly did those two become a part of our household? It doesn't make sense! What's happening? Think you could try to calm down? Serious. Calm down? But what's wrong with Yachi? Uh, Yukine? This guy you're with. Who is he? What do you mean? <laughs> nice one, Hiori. Now quit joking around. Come on, it's me, you dummy. Me, you dummy? That's your name? Yeah, Mr. Me, you dummy. That's a me. <laughs> that was a stupid accent. <laughs> so, Yukine, he's a friend of yours? Is he a comedian or something? Huh? It's gotta be some form of amnesia. It must be! The really weird thing about it is that the only thing she seems to have forgotten is you. What do we do? For starters, quit freaking out. I bet it's just a temporary condition. I'm sure she'll remember you soon. No. No what? I will make Hiyori normal again. That's it! Follow me this way! I was actually just dropping by to give you these old reference books to study. I know, but just humor him, will ya? If I can direct your attention to the lab, this street, this famous street, this is the very location where the god Yato met a certain girl while rescuing my lord. Huh? huh? A lord used to live around here? That's cool. I had no idea there was so much history to the street. <sighs> I don't think that's jogging her memory. Do you know his name, Mr. Yato? The Lord. Mr. Yato? It's Yato! There's no Mr. You only call me Yato! Okay, it just seems kind of rude to call you that right away. Uh, I'll show you, you uh, man! What's drawing in my books? This is my Lord! He's a cat! Oh, wow! Great! You're talented, Mr. Yato. I'm trying to show you the drawing, not my artistry! Oh, that's right. My lord was the name of the cat that you drew. You remember the cat? So do you remember me, then? Let me think. You're a manga artist? Oh. I'm sorry, but I really need to get going. Do you mind if we do your lessons another time, Yukine? I've put your homework assignments in here until we can meet. Sure. Thanks. See ya. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> Please, Yori. Do you really not remember me? Just try to think. Is there nothing there? <laughs> In that case, <laughs> let's get into bed together. That just might help you remember when we met at the hospital. <laughs> 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 Book of her memories? After everything else, you really think that's gonna work? Yes, it will! You saw how she reacted earlier! The drawing of my lord clearly woke something inside her! Uh, now quit nacing and help me here! Whatever, you can make your own coloring book. So desperate. I wonder why it's so important to him. <sighs> all right! I've got all the tools for a vivid picture book. It won't be long now! Man, I can't believe you threw away what little money you had on some stupid art supplies. Anything for the sake of Hiyori! Now that I think about it. Maybe something specific caused this. Uh, Yato? What's wrong? I should have known you were somehow behind this, Nora. Behind what, Yato? Erasing Hiyori's memories of you? It was actually rather easy. There's no reason for her to retain memories of far-shore denizens in her simple mind. It's 
seems that people are quick to forget that they've ever met you. Wouldn't you agree? No matter how much you grant humans' wishes, their behavior is always so fickle and erratic. Poor Yato, don't you ever get tired of being hurt so much? Why keep putting yourself through it? Wouldn't it be easier to simply embrace your true self? Yato! Snap out of it! Don't let her mess with your head! You're right. Fine, Nora. Just what the hell are you scheming this time? <laughs> I only wanted to get your attention to make sure that you haven't forgotten us, Yato. Rig. <sighs> you! It can't be! Bravo! How are you alive? It's been a long time, Yato God. Who is he? That's a cute sun visor you're wearing. Let's begin. Come! Seki! Uh -huh. even a little bit! It'll kill me right away! this sudden storm goes? Nope. I'm afraid my lady's got nothing to do with it. You're the first god I come to when a vent randomly opens. I never would have thought Yato was involved. It was brutal. We couldn't even come close to taking down this Robo guy. Robo, huh? I've never heard of the dude. Hmm. A god of calamity. Nobody has spoken his name in ages now. But he was apparently well known long ago. Then you know him, Master? Robo was in fact originally human. As I recall, in his life he served as a herald. What's a herald? A minion who sneaks into enemy land. A thug who carries out dirty work. 
Once a herald finishes his work, his master kills him to ensure his silence. Seriously? Apparently, he was deified after he was murdered and turned into a god of calamity. Wait, what's a god of calamity? People don't always ask the gods for good things. There are bad wishes. Really? Like what? The destruction of someone you hate, for example. A god of calamity hears these wicked requests and fulfills them. Robo favorites senseless murder as his particular method in granting these wishes. There's no discernment to his actions. He kills phantoms. He kills humans. And he's even been known to kill gods on request. What? What does someone like that want with Hiyori? I'm guessing he's an old pal of Yato's. <gasps> I have heard certain rumors. Yato did allegedly partner with the God of Calamity. Rabo hasn't changed at all. He's just as powerful. If I'm not careful, he might kill Yukine. How is he? Shouldn't simply existing be a struggle for a God of Calamity like him? What? Hold on a minute! You're telling me that those two work together? Does that mean, is Yato a God of Calamity too? Oh, I didn't even Yori know. knows something about it. I mentioned it to her once before. That's right. She didn't seem to have any problems with it either. That girl. She's one tough cookie, you know? Yachi's different than he used to be. Which is why Yori stuck by his side. I think it's pretty obvious at this point that Yori really loves you and Yachi. I... I have to get her memories back for her. She'll never remember me. Not at this rate. Perhaps it's for the best if she doesn't. As I've said before, you should cut your ties with her. Your connection gives her too much of a direct focus on the events of our world. It will eventually keep her from living in her own. Forgetting you could be the best thing to happen to her. She'll likely revert back to her fully human state. And she'll never be happy as a half-phantom. He appears to have made up his mind. Poor Yato. Yato! Where have you been all night? Listen to this. I was thinking about Hiyori's bed. Just forget about Hiyori. What? Hey, Yato! Yato! Must act quickly. The longer we wait, the more remorseless the passage of time becomes. You worry too much. Yato will return very soon. I'm sure of it. And then? Oh. Yuki! Have you seen Yati yet? Oh. What the hell? What's wrong with Yato now? This doesn't make sense. Why now? I drew this. But how? The only way I could have is if I do know him. But if I do, why can't I remember him? It's Yukine. Yori! Uh. <sighs> hey! Sorry I'm late. No big. So, what's up? For you. Wow, a picture book! So, did you make it? Mm -hmm. Can I read it to you? Mm hmm. Here we go! This is the story of Yato, the tracksuit-wearing god and his friend Hiyori. Now let the tale begin. Damn it, Yukine. He's with Hiyori again. And on his very first try, the gifted regalia drew a borderline. That's so cool! You really are amazing, Yukine. <laughs> Even Yato was surprised when I did it. Really? He was? 
Uh, yeah, moving on. was a success, all thanks to Yato and Hiyori. If neither of you had been there for me, then I might not have been able to come back. And that's how... That's how... And that's how Hiyori, Yato, and I all became best friends. Sorry, but I still don't have any memories of Mr. Yato. Although, it does sound like we really are good friends. Yeah. So, I was wondering, if you don't mind and all, could I have that book? Huh? Uh, you see, the thing is... I just kind of feel like if I keep looking at it over and over, it might help me remember what I've forgotten. If you think so. The lunar cycle is waning. Tell me, Yato, where do you suppose the waning part of the moon goes? Where does it go? Huh? Uh, you okay? Hiyori... Uh... Um, is this yours? what you told me, right? Is that supposed to be me? Why do I have a tail? Yori! Time to go! Yori! Sorry, I shouldn't have freaked out on you like that earlier. Really, you're the one who's being tormented through all this. The thing is, we've dragged you into something terrible. Actually, it's Yato's crappy history that's to blame here. But he is still my master, and his problems are, well, they're my problems too. Do I have to do all the talking? I promise that we will get your memory back. So you just rest easy and wait, okay? Buddy, what's wrong? I'm actually not sure. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> My 
shrine has grown so neglected. The world was once ruled by strife and filled with countless vile wishes, but the etchings here are those that have been long since fulfilled, and callers come no more. Bravo. And yet here I stand, still alive after all this time. We too are gods of calamity, where we are born from chaos and suffering, only to be reclaimed by it. Isn't that so, Yato God? Yes. What did Lady Cove could 
tell you. I've got a feeling that a vent didn't cause this storm. You're right, Fina. A storm like this, it is the product of a god of calamity. A god of calamity? I want you to take Hiyori and get away from here. Huh? I'm the only one that Rabo's concerned with. I'll keep him busy while you two get out of here. What? You can't be serious. You're completely unarmed without me. Shut up. I can handle this. Forget the girl, Yato God. She's been reduced to nothing more than a mindless hollow container now. Just an empty sack of flesh.
bearing a posthumous name, I don this mask and proclaim myself a spirit vessel. Ye names that assemble cannot defy me. You are bound and beholden to my every order. Submit yourselves to me and obey the mask. Now gather depravity! The storm, he's absorbing it. <laughs> Damn fool! Are you completely insane? Merging your being with phantoms? Insane? Of course not. I've taken this action in order to fight you to the death! <laughs> Absorbed a storm and merged with the phantoms within. 
It's up to you to draw the line between who gets killed and who survives. What? It's up to me? You can do this, Yukine. We can do this. Together! This is the land of the rising sun. Your desecration shall not be allowed. Hear me! I am the god Yato! I now lay thee waste with the Seki and expel thy vast defilement! I cleanse thee! Yato? Yep. <laughs> I gotta ask though, how did you just suddenly get your memory back? Huh? It was because of Yato's. his smell. Uh, his what? Uh... Never mind, forget it, it's nothing! Yeah, I don't know how! I can't remember at all! <laughs> okay. Hmm? What's up? Hiyori. Okay, you're all serious now. Just listen. I think it's for the best if you cut all ties with us. That's the only way you'll really live a happy life. So... What? Hey, hold on! No, I'm not gonna do that. Huh? We're friends. There's no way I'd be happy without you guys in my life. to you? Are you sure about that? She's just being stubborn for the sake of being stubborn. That's not true. I mean it. I'm not turning my back on you. I want to be with you forever. Oh. You're the only one who wants to cut ties here, Yato. <laughs> we need booze! It's time to celebrate! Wait! I didn't mean I 
want to be with you forever like that. Not that way. I'll grant your wish for five yen. Pay up. You've made a wish, and it's been heard loud and clear. Yoriiki, may our fates forever intertwine.